Sammy Kay, founder of Snacklands, also believes in the importance of manufacturing. Sammy launched Snacklands in 2016 after losing a bar bet. Since then, Snacklands has turned into a national snack craze, and in October of 2019, Mark Cuban invested in the brand after Sammy's pitch on Shark Tank. Honestly, it came the fact that I did what everyone else does. You get to a certain point that you're like, I can't make this myself anymore. I need to find a co-manufacturer help. Um, upon looking with everyone and talking to a handful of them, I realized that the fresh ingredients was what was going to hold us back. That no yeah. one was making chips using fresh ingredients. Like outside of a potato chip, nothing else is really thrown in there raw or used in its raw state to make a thing. They're using a powder. In like the big co-manufacturer. Yeah, the big. Any puff, any healthy snack you can think of, if it says it's made with peas, it's pea powder. Don't let them lie to you, right? Like I never yeah. let them lie to you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but it's like we were using fresh ingredients. And so that kind of hit me. And it was really like, wow, we will never find someone to make this for me. So it's either do or die. And I either had to figure out a way to make more pellets, which, I mean, Cullen can back me up on this one. I literally just started YouTubing, Googling, anything I could. I was talking to, like, 20 or 30 companies in China and India yeah, at in any China. given time <laughs> just to figure out what I needed. I ended up going to China, not really having an idea. Like, I knew I needed these kind of machines, but I didn't even know if they would work. And I literally brought a suitcase filled with, like, seasoning. You know what I mean? And I showed up in China and was, like, started testing out all these different machines. We finally found, like, a process in which semi worked, and then we had to modify it. And so, yeah, it was a uh, – it was – we didn't manufacture because it, it made us feel good. We manufactured out of necessity, <laughs> I guess. You know, but now in hindsight, I mean, you look over the past year, right? And when other people that would work with the co-packers, when they were the small guy, they all got cut out. You know, and they were yeah. going months of out of stock just because they don't—they didn't make anything themselves. Like we make everything up until it's fried, seasoned, and bagged. Right? Yeah, doing that all season here. Season is easy. We do everything else here. And so when we talk to these guys, they're like, "Well, there is no holdup. We can just be like find us some time on your line." We got the seasoning for you. We've already made all the pellets. You know, here you go. 